Hello, my name is Mayan Shaw with RVMax.us, and today I have this 2012 Thor Motor Coach Avanti, model 2806. It's 28.75 feet long, and it's a short little Class A diesel, um, and it's pretty neat. There's some quality features about it, so let's get started today. Up front, it has a full one-piece windshield, um, which gives you a really panoramic view because the windshield curves around and goes a little bit down the side. Um, so the view from the driver's seat is actually really amazing. Now there's a little rock chip right here. Um, it has it spread, and there's one more little rock chip up there. It's not in the view, um, but there are little chips in the, in the glass. It's got the diesel is located in the front of the coach. It's got a 6.7 liter inline six cylinder Cummins motor. It's got plenty of power for this little coach. Um, and this is honestly a rare layout with the Class A diesel with the engine in the front. Um, it drives like a small little That's where the DEF fluid goes. The DEF fluid um, is a new requirement for diesels. It started around 2008, 2009, um, but you fill it up and it's basically like an ammonia fluid. Now it is missing a little fender piece here. This is purely cosmetic and you can probably order a piece from Thor, but since this is on consignment, we're not gonna go ahead and replace it. Um, it probably costs maximum a couple hundred bucks. And here we have the generator. Now this has a Cummins Onan 3200 quiet diesel generator. Um, this is really nice. Diesels are, uh, they're much, they run quieter than gas generators and it's easier to fuel because it comes out of the one same fuel tank. Now right here we have a pass-through storage compartment. It should be our propane tank. Yes it is. I believe that's an 18 gallon tank. Let's see what the size is there. I believe it's a 20, 20 gallon tank, but no rust, looks pretty good. This is a 2012 coach um, and it's in great condition. It's got about 48,000 miles on it. Full wall slide on the driver's side here. You can see that it's out right now. Full body paint. Straight walls, no delamination. Right here we have a pretty big storage compartment. With two lights here, it's got cargo lights. I flicked the switch on from inside. You can turn those lights off um, and on from inside, which is nice because if you're in the coach, you don't want to run your batteries down and you don't feel like going to check all your compartments, you can just flick them all off with one button. This is where our wet bay is. And you do have an outside shower in that compartment right there. This is where you dump your tanks and also fill your tanks and connect to city water pressure. You can also drain your tanks right here, your low point drains. All the doors and compartment doors click with a really satisfying feel, they're well built. Right here is where our power comes in, this is a 30 amp coach. There's also a little opening right here so you can plug in and close this compartment. The back of this coach looks pretty cool. This is a very special motorhome, and I doubt you'll run into anything similar to this coach. And it's a pretty high-end short coach, which means you can get in a lot of national parks much easier. Um, state parks, some of them don't require, don't let in long coaches, so you can fit in anywhere. Now you've got a 5,000 pound towing capacity hitch. You can always switch that hitch out. It's got a 6.7 Cummins, which they put in a lot of 40 foot coaches. Um, so it's got plenty of power. If you wanted to switch to a 10,000 pound towing capacity hitch, you quite easily could. Now we're stepping over to the passenger side of this coach. Straight walls, no delamination, just like the driver's side. The paint is in excellent condition. We've got a full electric patio awning right here, which gives plenty of shade out in the sun. We have some more storage right here. This is pass-through, um, but it's mainly made. You've got a little inverter up here too. Here's our hot water heater. So we can just open this up and take a look at it. Oh, and look at that, second set of keys. If you ever want to steal a coach from a dealer, you know where to look. Let's see what size this tank is. It's a six gallon hot water heater. 
Runs off of propane, of course. This is where our water tank is located. You can drain your tank right there. You can also service the sensors if you ever need to. The sensors are right there. This is the other side of that pass-through storage. Whoa, and in fact, look what we have here. We have that little panel. We may be able to put this on, um, but if not, it goes with the coach. It saves you some money right there. You just need to mount it. That's really about the only flaw I can point out on this coach, besides little tiny nicks like that. Besides that, this is a pretty like new coach. Up here we have more storage. Actually, I take that back. That is storage, but it's storage for your batteries. So it looks like, let's see if we can determine which one is coach side. Okay, so this is your chassis side batteries right here. This is what it, um, because it's a diesel, it's a 24 volt system. So this is what you use to start your batteries. So these are your coach side batteries. And you can tell because there's little solenoids because there's a 12 volt battery cut off inside the coach. Batteries look pretty good. Yep, 04 of 18. So the batteries are pretty new on the coach side. Chassis side looks pretty good. We've had no problem. It always fires right up. Take a step here and just take a good look at it. The top caps look really good. No signs of the clear coat coming off. That's a common thing on used coaches. But again, this is a 2012. Um, and it's in very good condition. All right, let's take a step inside this coach. Check it out. Double electric step. All right, let's walk in. Kill it. All right, now we're inside this coach, and let's get started talking about it. But before we do that, check out this full wall slide. It takes the bed out, as well as all this dinette, and all this space goes out. So it gives it a lot of space, even though it's a small little coach. Um, it feels a lot bigger than it really is. So start here with this dinette. So all you do to extend it is pull this out and then plop this right over and you've got a pretty big table right here. There's also cup holders mounted back there as well. Um, so it's really convenient, especially if you're going down the road, you can set your cups in there and won't worry about them spilling. Um, so it's a very passenger friendly coach. The upholstery is in good shape as well on this couch. It looks really nice. And this table, slash, this table right here can be taken out and you can use it just as a regular couch if you'd like. Over here, we've got a lot of Corian counter space here. Um, you could use it for cooking or really anything you'd like. A lot of storage compartments in this coach as well. You have a Jensen flat screen TV right here. Right over here, we have our refrigerator. This runs off of either propane or electric power. It's like new, it says made in USA. I think this is a Dometic. Yeah, this is a Dometic. We have our microwave oven. We have a dual burner, burner gas stove. With a nice little glass enclosure, which provides for more countertop space. This is all Corian, by the way. You don't see that often in short little Class A's like this. Most of the time, these have regular, just kind of cardboard like countertop space. So this is Corian. We've got a stainless sink, stainless, stainless seal sink here with a circular insert. Really, this is kind of a high quality coach considering how short it is. Normally these short little coaches are low quality, they're cheaply built, um, they've got gas engines that can't really tow that much, but this coach is, is the polar opposite of that. It's got a lot of torque coming from that 6.7 liter Cummins, um, which means they can put heavier, nicer items throughout the coach and you can tow more. And on top of that, it's got a quiet diesel Cummins, which is really nice. Let's take a step up front. Check out this panoramic view we have here. It's a really neat view. It's got a huge dashboard. I've driven it myself and it's really unique in, as far as the view goes and I personally like it a lot. That window over there is slightly foggy, just a little bit. You can still see through it just fine but it's starting to get a little foggy there. Both of these seats turn around by the way. And it's also got a bed that comes down from the ceiling. All you do is grab it, push it down just like I did. You've got a ladder mounted right there. So this is a pretty spacious bed. And this is along with the bed in the back. Um, so you could probably sleep two people here, um, one person very comfortably. So this coach could sleep like four people. Um, 
which is very nice. See, all you do, it goes back up itself. And there are little clips right here, just provide a little extra protection, um, you know, just in case, I guess, randomly the shocks go bad, which will probably never happen, maybe in 15 years or something, but that's just extra. Gives you a little bit of, uh, you know, safety feeling while you're sitting right there. Your head's not gonna get bopped. <laughs> All right, let's step back here. So when the slide out is in, this doorway is blocked because the slide goes all the way up to this door. But you can still access your bedroom and um, bathroom area even when the slide is in. So we've got a pretty spacious bathroom. The Corian continues right here. The stainless sink, our toilet's right there. We have a nice glass enclosed shower with a little lock on it so it doesn't fly around on you when you're driving. Back here we have some medicine cabinet space. Nice LED lights. By the way, I think most of the lights in here besides these fluorescents are LEDs. So no need to convert them. That's really nice. It saves on battery power. It makes you able to dry camp for longer um, periods of time. Back here is the main bed, which is honestly about the same size or even smaller than that bed up front. We've got another flat screen TV here with a radio. Let's see. Power. Yep, it's got USB power coming out of it, AUX. So you can plug anything you like up into this and play your own music or just listen to the radio. We've got lots of drawers here. Huge amount of space for the size of the coach. This is like a wardrobe area. And check this out. This slides out. So all of your things mounted here, you can slide them out and get to them really easily. So you can put stuff way in the back and still get to them without having to reach back behind a bunch of clothes. Right here we have all the option lists. And um, I'll try to get a picture of that online. So, so options that it came with when this coach was new, which is not too long ago. Right here we have our controls for our, uh, our heat. And this coach has electric heat, so it's got a heat pump as well. That's really nice. So what the heat pump is, is it um, switches the compressors on the uh, main air con roof air conditioning and it blows heat, so you don't have to burn propane. Although when it gets below freezing, you'll have to run and use your propane heat, but it's nice having that electric heat option. Um, it helps for longevity as far as your propane goes, and especially if you're plugged into power, you can use the campsite power instead of running your propane to heat the coach. It's a really nice feature, and um, I want you to take that in consideration when comparing our coach to other coaches. Anyways, that'll complete the video for this coach. Um, if you have any more questions or need any, for, any more information or would like to schedule an appointment to come take a look at the coach and maybe even test drive it, um, please call or text me at 864-376-5600. Thank you and have a great day.